Hello, once again. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to reduce network latency through software, specifically Windows. Um, I might cover more in depth, uh, you know, router and modem firmware stuff, but I like to do what most people can do. I like to show people what most people can do about network latency rather than, you know, having to do a, a bunch of extra shit to achieve it. Now, I'll cover uh, Intel network adapters as well as killer uh, ones as well. But generally the settings are similar enough, but I will cover them. Now for Realtek, there's nothing special. There's no secret registry keys that do anything useful. And anything else can really be controlled through the BIOS. Um, you can copy these settings. Advanced uh, oh, by the way, if you don't have all these settings, just update your driver. Just Google your driver. Or you can go in Windows, type system information, and then you'll see your motherboard name and shit. Just Google it, and then go to the web page. You go to support or download the network adapter. But usually these are updated. So disable advanced EEE. Disable ARP offload. This doesn't really matter. Uh, you can keep this whatever, disable energy uh, efficient ethernet, flow control, disable it, gigabyte light, disable it, green ethernet, disable it, internet moderation, disable it. Now, before I get any comments from any fucking smart asses saying, oh, I did, I did a TCP, uh, you know, latency test. It's like, first of all, when you're gaming, you're using UDP, so that's first off. And, you know, there's not a lot of packets, you know what I'm saying? It's... When you disable internet moderation, it's more of a good thing, especially if you're just gaming. It does lower UDP network latency. It's just a fact. You can cry about that. I really don't give a fuck. Um, on to the next one. Uh, disable IPv4 checksum offload. If you're big, oh well, don't you like want to use less resources? When you lower latency, the 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 cost is usually power consumption, generally speaking. Because, yeah, I'm not going to explain that path. No, I'm not doing that. Um, Gemma frame disabled, large send offloads disabled. You can maximize your RSS queues, mine's four. You can disable NS offload. You can disable power saving mode. You can set priority and VLAN to priority enabled. Um, you can max out your receive buffers. Uh, you can keep that on. Disable selective suspend. Disable shutdown wake on land. You can keep your speed and duplex auto. You can keep TCP checks from offload enabled, even though it may or may not still work. It doesn't matter. Because um, you don't game in TCP anyway. Maximize your transmit buffers. Mine's 496. Disable UDP checksum offload for both IPv4 and IPv6. Cool. And then disable wake on magic packet. Wake on magic packet, one system, whatever, whatever. Wake on pattern match disabled. And then you go to power management, and then you can uncheck these. And then you're usually good. Um, outside of that, if for some reason, like, you have, like, a weird uh, network card, it doesn't have your shit in MSI mode, just make sure it's in MSI mode. And you can set it to high and then apply it at the top right. You could find this if you just Google MSI utility. It's on Google 3D, you can download it. One of my videos I've already showed you, it's in the NVIDIA GP one. Um, outside of that, yes, there's more things you can do. There's always something more you can do, but it doesn't fucking matter in reality. And it's way too complicated and it changes based on what game you play. You don't want to deal with all that shit. So setting affinity is all that shit. Don't worry about it. Let Windows do its thing. It may not be the greatest, but it's better than having a headache and trying to schizophrenically fix things. Trust me. Um, generally speaking, real tech network adapters are worse than Intel ones. And yeah. It's basically it for that. Like I said, I'll cover more like advanced stuff as this channel progresses because I just don't want to dump a bunch of information that's way too advanced. You know, I don't want to do that just yet. But uh, generally, that's, 
That's about it. See you in the next one, boys. Hello. Um, this is how you reduce network latency for the Intel adapters. So what you want to do is you hit uh, your Windows key and then X, and then open up Device Manager, or you could just you know search it. Type Device Manager. Um, expand network adapters. Um, obviously, don't play on Wi-Fi. You already know that. Um, so you open it. Uncheck these. Go to Advanced. Um, disable ARP offload. DMA closing should be off. NLPME should be off. Energy efficiency should be off. Flow control should be off. Um, interrupt moderation should be off. IPv4 checksum should be off. Jumbo packet should be off. Wire channel offloads should be off. Uh, log links to the event could be off. Uh, maximum of RSS keys max that out. NS offload off. You can just keep some packet priority enabled for that one. You can set these as high as they go. For Intel adapters, I use 2048 for the receive and send buffers. Disable selective suspend. Keep that auto. You can keep TCP checksum offloads on if you want. It won't matter. Transmit buffers, like I said, 2048. UDP checksum offloads off. Wait for link off. Wake from SOIX, magic packet off. Wake on link settings disabled. Wake on magic packet disabled. Wake on pattern uh, match disabled. And now before you click OK, you want to hit Windows key R, type regedit. You want to open the registry editor. You want to go to HQ local machine, go to system, go to control. Go to class and then look for 972. See, it's in order here, like I said before. And then and there's going to be a lot of these usually. All you need to do is just go through them. And um, you'll know it's your adapter because obviously it'll be the long like this, and also it'll just say the driver description here usually. And we're going to do for Intel adapters, you want to obviously go to the location like I did here. You're going to set TX int delay to zero. Now, this string should already be in this location. If it's not, update your uh, network adapter driver. Um, once you've done that, you can close the registry. And then you can click OK. And then that's it for that.